Oh, yeah. And every time I broke up with a girl in a relationship, my last relationship, nine years, I broke up with them because I couldn't deal with the stress anymore. It wasn't because they were bad people. I just couldn't deal with the stress and the drama. And I tell people, get out of any relationship where you just feel stress more than anything else, where you feel all that tension, whatever, just get out, communicate, do your best. If that's not working, just be friends, get out, and just do it. Because life is short. You could be dead tomorrow. Don't fuck around. Life's too short to live stress and to be stressed and give stress. So be careful how much stress you're giving out to people, especially those you care about, and just get out when you can. Bitcoin protect the assets. Boom, boom. Um, hammer. A hammer. It's hammer time, baby. Stress does stress affect athletic performance. There's plenty of muppets out there who say it won't, but stress, in my opinion, negative stress will definitely drain you of nerve energy. You've got two types of energy. You've got your muscle glycogen, you're burning calories, burning fats, etc. That's your, like, your fuel tank energy, and you've got nerve energy. An example of nerve energy is try and stay awake for five days, eat your normal caloric intake, and then try and perform. If it's one night of no sleep, your performance will go down. If you use a power meter, you can measure it objectively. What are you looking for, Bubbles? My t-shirt. Your t-shirt. There's one over there. Um, but you know, so like you will have this um, drain of nerve energy. Have a big fight with someone, you know, and then try and do something epic. Most of the time, you'll have this, like, oh my God, the next day, you'll be like, maybe that moment, you'll be like, G'd up, adrenaline, fight or flight, yeah, you'll be good. But the next day, you're just stressing about stuff. What the next day, you're just like robbed, robbed of energy. You've got nothing. You can't give any watts on the bike. You can't, you know, anything you do, you have to do a subpar level. It's like you're taking out a BB or something out of your, out of your blood volume there. So stress will rob your nerve energy, you know? Just look at it. Even when you take a lot of stims, have a lot of caffeine or any sort of centri- CNS nervous stimulator. Stim, cocaine, adl- uh, caffeine, green tea, cocaine, cocaine, green tea, Ritalin, Adderall, all these things, modafinil, central nervous stimulants, next day, because they gave you so much nerve fire that day, and the next day, just boom, crashing out. That's why I rarely use stims, because it, next day you're cooked and then need more, and then more, 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 and eventually you, you're taking so much stims every day just to do something real basic. So stims, use them rarely. But stress definitely will rob your energy due to nerve and energy draining, just your brain just dwelling over stuff. That's why I always teach people, be in the present fucking moment. When you're in the present moment, you can focus on what's going on. So if you're in the future or the past, thinking about, oh my God, I've made mistakes there, I didn't do that, even with Bitcoin. Oh my God, I should have gotten Bitcoin when it was $2 and I could have bought two pizzas for $100 million. Or, oh my God, in the future, i invest in Bitcoin. It's going to, like, just be in the moment, you know? And we're talking about life. Like, look at the, look at the joiners we have right now in our lives. You're watching a YouTube video. You might be going, oh my God, I've got to do this meeting tomorrow or next week. I've got a job interview or this. Chill. Chill. Because that's, you when you're in the future or in the present, you're robbed of the present moment. And that's why they call it the present. Because it's a, it's a gift. It's a present. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Right here, right now, is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Right? So you remember that. We're caught up in this world of like, tomorrow, 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 you know. Bitcoin only happens now. <laughs> Bitcoin only happens now. So if you're going to be on Bitcoin, let Bitcoin be in the present moment. Bitcoin's happening now. Live now. Be in the moment. You know, live in the moment. And it's, isn't it amazing? When you see little graphs, you can see it. You can go, you, you go oh, wow, that's good. Oh, nice. You know what I mean? You can let the little screen determine how you're going to feel. It's fucking crazy. We let little things in the screen or little likes, dislikes, or someone did this, or they looked this way, or they spoke to us that way. Or the hammer, I hit my thumb. Ow! Oh, can't use the hammer ever again. So all these things in life, just do your best just to chill the fuck out, carve the fuck up, stay hydrated, and don't make things bigger in our head than they really are. This person didn't back me up. This person didn't do that. This person didn't turn up in time. This person did this to me when I was a kid. This person... It doesn't always mean what you think it fucking means, man. You know? People do shit all the time they regret. I do shit all the time I regret. Make mistakes all the fucking time. And I try and learn from them so the next time I can do it fucking better. An example with the, the nerve energy of stress and cycling performance-wise, I remember... In June, I think it was June or July this year, I was in Chiang Mai, Thailand, 
and I was I had some really good form in June or July, whatever it was. I was on the bamboo bike doing 34 minutes at the door on the bamboo bike. And I was going really good. And I remember this morning one time I did this like 320 watts for 40 minutes, just effortlessly, effortlessly on the bamboo bike. Like, oh my god, it's going so good. And then that day I was trying to get a laptop back that I'd loaned someone, and they were trying to steal it. They said, "Oh, I don't have it." Such and such took it. And I'm like, no worries, I'll go to the cop shop. You know, I'll give you a chance. If you can just get back to me now, we can just finish it. And I, I'll engage in their drama. They just wanted some attention from Daddy Duranata. And I, I just got sucked into it. And then they were saying, we're going to destroy your old man. And I was like, are we going to do that? And I started throwing back stuff and did the drama. And it was just like maybe six or seven hours of just like them just trying to like, give me some energy, Daddy. Give me some energy, Daddy. And I was just giving it to them. But I was just drained myself you know, with these people. Not bad people, just just confused, young, just doing just, you know, random shit. And I played in their reality. I was in their frame. Instead of staying in Duranita's frame, I got into the drama frame, all right? I got into their frame and I just started throwing my wattage around there. And that was a big mistake because it caused me a lot of stress I didn't have to deal with. And then the next day, when I had to pay someone at Deutsche Tech for TT, I was just like, oh my God. You know, I ate enough, I drank enough, and my legs were just... Lucky to do 270, you know, and struggling with that just a day after. When I've got this beautiful form, great hematocrit, great hemoglobin, everything's going great. And then I rob myself by engaging in drama with drama addicts, you know. Just because someone's a drama addict doesn't make them a bad person. But I would say it's a bad fucking choice to engage in it, especially for six or seven hours. You know, that's why I just do not do drama anymore. If someone's a drama person in my life, I'm like, I don't have time for you. You know, if you're a, a rainbow, step aside, please. I only got time for rainbows, and I encourage people to be a rainbow, not be a rainbow. And if you want energy from someone, then um, be energy, and people will come around and they want they want to take it from you. They want to grab it. They want to be around. They want they want to fuel it up and spiral it up and spool up like a turbo. So I le- I've learned so much this year, so much, and I made a lot of mistakes, and I made a lot of regrets, and I apologize to a lot of people, um, and. Learn from my own mistakes and don't get caught up in drama. Don't get caught up in the, your own self drama. Oh my God, I've done this and this. No, no, no. It's just, you know, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone fucks up. You know, don't worry about too much about stuff. If, okay, so example would be Bitcoin. Big time investments in doing it. And I could go, oh my God, I didn't do it too soon enough. I didn't too, I put in too much. I didn't do it. Didn't. All these little voices. And I'm, and I'm sitting there with three and I'm thinking, fuck, I'm not in the moment right now. You know, I'm in, I'm in Bitcoin world. So it's like all these things. Even when I did, we did a, um, you know, did TT this morning at Mount Lofty. Tori's going for it, running up the track. You know, first time ever she did. She got 14th overall. One of the, probably the hardest run segments in Australia. Got 14th overall. Never ran out there before in life. And um, but she did a really good job staying in the moment. But at the end, she had even more power and just surged, sprinted off. And I'm like, hey, okay, okay. So we know that. She was just faking a bit in the middle there. She's like, oh my God, how long is this going to last for? And she's thinking in the future, you know? I'm really hurting, how long is this going to last for? But once she saw the finish, she just, boom, just launched it. So that is just proof that the mind will give us energy where we want it. So you can get caught up in the drama, get caught up in the past or the future and avoid being in the present moment. That's where the strength, that's where the power is, being in the, in the fucking present moment. All right, so stay in the present moment. That's where you, when you're doing a TT on the bike or anything in life, when you're in that present moment, that's where the real power is. If you want to hammer the fuck out of that nail, you can't be looking up at the ceiling. You can't be thinking about the past. You gotta be in the present moment, just fucking bang, bang, bang. All right, that's what that's hammer time in the present moment. So if you're letting stress get to you, you gotta pick up the hammer, man, and just be bang in the present moment. Don't be caught up in the past or the future. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Right here, right now, is a motherfucking gift. And that's what I call it, the present. Be present. Read Eckhart Tolle's book, The Power of Now, if you want more tips and hints. Shout out to Eckhart Tolle. Power of Now. It's true. It sounds fucking corny as shit, but your power is right here, right now. Use it.